is a lot harder than we thought it was gonna be, I have to say. This is really hard. Cheers. I just know I like cheese a lot. Oh, Oh, like this? No. Pecorino? Sana, I was wondering if there's anything that you would like to get off of your chest. Actually, if you think about it. Hi, everybody. So today I'm here with Sana Vlut. Hey guys. You probably have seen her YouTube. It's kind of a big deal. No. <laughs> I'm happy, uh, happy you're here. And just in time for Thanksgiving. Holidays are coming around. Thanksgiving is happening tomorrow. I wanted to give you guys a little fun game you can play with your family. Sometimes Thanksgiving conversations can be a little uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm very new to Thanksgiving actually because obviously I'm Dutch, we don't celebrate. I think what we're gonna do today is also really, really fun to do it with friends. This works for friends too, exactly. Yeah. You're hired. There we go. That, that was not a good high five. We should do a better <laughs> one. <laughs> so you guys, today we are doing the cheese challenge. Mm. And Sana is my first victim. So we'll see how this goes. I love it. We have like tulips. We're gonna have cheese. We have all this like Dutch meat Thanksgiving activity. And the yeah. Dutch love cheese, uh -oh. traditionally. Pres pressure is on right now. To <laughs> You're probably more of a cheese connoisseur than I am. I just know I like cheese a lot. So I figured if we're gonna do a challenge, why not involve cheese? Perfect. Should we pop some bottles? We're and gonna get pop this the bottle. Not towards the window. Oh, not towards the window. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have uh, champagne glasses, but... Who needs champagne glasses? Exactly. Yeah, this is our palette cleanser, but I don't know if champagne is a standard palette cleanser, but... Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> so we have bells. So the first one who guesses what kind of cheese it is, needs to press the bell and then say it out loud. And if, you, if your guess is wrong, it goes to the next contestant. Sana, for today, I brought you something special. Mm -hmm. These are blindfolds. Ooh. I have a fun naked mermaid one. And I have here a little pink one. I hate to be blinded. Okay. Let's find the bell. Okay. Where is that one? Okay. Wait, friends. Cheese. Cheese, please. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, feel, I feel a plate. Oh, God. Okay, it's not super old. Yeah, this is hard. This is really harder than I thought it was going to be. A really delicious one. Um, me as a Dutch, you should like, I should know this. Gouda? Not Gouda. No, no, no. I think it's a, uh, it's Adam. 30 plus. <laughs> Round two. Just so you know, this was cheddar. Oh, oh sh Wow. Yeah. There's cheese? Okay, let's go. Okay. Oh, it's smoky. This? Mm -hmm. this is a smoked Gouda. Well, I don't like this one. <laughs> yeah? Oh, right? oh you already have it. You go. Is this a Gruyere? Pecorino? Damn it! Parmesan! Parmesan! Parmesan. Oh, I thought I was going to do this! Should we do like hands behind our back? Yeah, yeah. Cut. Eat. What do you mean? Oh, like this? Mm. You're just Gouda. It's a very young cheese though. Swiss? Um, it's a very young cheese. Guys, if you're not a cheese expert, you can also do this with like everything, anything else. Chocolate, <laughs> wine, <laughs> like... Just what stop. is it? Monterey Jack. Oh. oh. Okay, take the cheese away. Cheese break. Oh. Is there mascara everywhere? Yes, yeah, this is it. <laughs> this is really, really hard. And I thought I was going to be like an expert. I'm like all about like, oh, I'm this Dutch person. Like we eat cheese. <laughs> and like I feel big time. <laughs> But you know what it is? When I normally eat cheese, I never think about the texture. See, I'm actually training you. Let's see how well this boyfriend bell really works. Boyfriends, we need this. We need this every Monday afternoon. This would be a good tip. Like if you're if you're not drinking champagne, you want to, you need something to neutralize it. You can also you said eat apple or apples, strawberries, it water, works. and red or white wine. Pint it upon the cheese. They work. So we're going to take it to the next level this time, you guys, and we will not touch the cheese with our hands. Okay. 
<laughs> as if this isn't challenging <laughs> enough. But. Is this one of your favorite it's cheese? My, it is my favorite cheese. It's a good cheese though. Am I lipstick <laughs> all over this plate right now? Yes. <laughs> <Like, are> you... <laughs> oh, this is a smelly one. Go. <laughs> oh, this is brie. Oh, no way. <laughs> this is definitely brie, no? <laughs> it's not? Oh. What is this? This is like a soft one. Oh, camembert. I think we have a new plate in front of us. We can smell it first. Okay, I didn't smell it, but... I feel it, okay. The feta? Yay! Yay. My first point too! <laughs> High five! High five! I that everywhere. Mmm! <laughs> that's good, I like it. Yay! It, it, that's one of your favorite cheeses, right? Yeah, I absolutely yeah. love feta. On to the last one. This could be a game changer. We'd have to figure out a tiebreaker. Okay, we're going? Okay, I might be completely wrong. Is this some kind of like goat cheese? No. That's the only one I was like, oh. What the? <laughs> I'm thinking my Are brain you? is so focused on what this is. <clears throat> I honestly, I don't know. When we hear this, we're gonna be so yeah, annoying like, oh, because yeah. we're gonna know what the cheese is. Yeah. Are we calling it? Yeah, we're gonna. Danish, Danish Fontina. Fontina. Ah, I would have. I actually, I couldn't. I never I guessed never that. I would have never guessed that. So we finished up the cheeses. We're gonna get a couple of items. Um, I guess the boyfriends are gonna surprise us with some things. With so some here we go. Do you think it's going to be food related? I'm gonna ring I was the like, they're gonna bring some lingerie. <laughs> okay, boyfriends. <laughs> this smells, this smells like a banana. Oh yeah, banana. Wait. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh my god, are you okay? I was looking for the I was looking for the bell. I'm so sorry. Ugh. Banana. We have to eat it? No. <laughs> banana. Mm-hmm. You were fat. You smelled that fruit. Really, really I didn't well. smell it was a banana. Uh-oh. <laughs> the fridge is opening. The final one. Smell it? I smell cheese. <laughs> Something frozen, frozen blackberry. <gasps> Blueberry. Nope. Raspberry. Yes. Frozen raspberry. I took it off. There was so much fun. A little bit there. Okay, guys, that was so much fun. We are going to clean ourselves up and oh we goodness. will BRB. I can see again, which oh, is literally. Great. Thank you for Don't joining me, Sana. This is that was a lot of fun. So much fun. You were my first real cheese victim. Good activity. Very and good you did activity. a really great job. That feta, you're on. But it. you won. Uh, well, it's whatever. It's not about winning. It's about just the being experience. part of the team. Well, cheers. cheers. Speaking of which, I wanted to talk to you about something because one of the things that inspired this video for me is from the show West Wing, and even President Obama did this during his term, which is called the Big Will of Cheese Day. And this is a day where presidential figures or whomever meets with the people so they can get something off their chest. Yeah. Actually, if you think about it, so the cheese wheel was used for like organizations who like wanted to get heard. And um, I've mentioned this before, but that my friend Jason and I are working on a school project where we're going into a school once a month and we're doing, uh, we call it social emotional learning exercises, workshops, where you kind of learn the skills of life which you don't learn like in school. So yes. it's about motivation, about like confidence, about like team building and empathy. And we're trying to make this like fun, but like very useful. And I think nowadays, especially that's such like a nice thing to do. Yeah, I love that you guys focus on that because there's so many struggles that school doesn't teach you. So that's a really yeah. admirable cause. Like that's the thing. Well, like a lot of students get bored because you know, you want to, of course, after math, science and everything, like you're there with like other people. And I feel life is yeah. about that. And there's other things going on in your life. And it's hard to know the social skills to 
deal with other people and express emotions when you're yeah. going through so much. And to just navigate what you said, navigate through your own emotions and like navigate to your problems or like your struggles. Yeah, yeah, because everyone has them. Some people may or may not know this about me. I have scoliosis and it's something that I've always struggled with. And I've been working on a scoliosis mm -hmm. research project that I actually initiated through Instagram. So if That's you guys follow me on Instagram, <laughs> inviting my followers to join with me on this project. I actually like to, I, now I also heard this for the first time that you initially started this through Instagram because mm -hmm. I feel there is so much like negativity about like social media, like this, that, but it also has a very positive effect where you can kind of bring people together and mm -hmm. like find each other and like support each other and it's like in a community which I think is really Yeah, fun. I'm really glad you brought that up because I've always felt really grateful to have a pretty good following on social media but it can be a bit confusing because sometimes it can feel a little bit vapid. This is given me a bit more purpose yeah. to use my Instagram for a greater reason. I love interacting with this community of people that I completely relate to that have scoliosis. I'm wearing a necklace now that I created where all the proceeds benefit the Curvy Girl Scoliosis Organization. If you guys out there also have any problems that you're going through, please comment below because Sana and I are going to check out the comments and we would love to interact with you guys. And we're so thankful that you guys watched this video. It's been so much fun. Sana was the perfect first <laughs> cheeser. No, you crushed it. <laughs> thank Sana, you so much for having me. Me best guest and we'll see you guys next time yes. don't forget to subscribe to sauna <laughs> to me and to sauna see you guys next time bye guys